I don't think I should use black powder for rocket motors. Is that a pulse jet engine? Why isn't that thing working? Over the past few days, I've been trying to build a rocket motor. I made three attempts, all using black powder, and each one ended in catastrophic failure. So, I decided to test some other configurations of rocket fuel. If you've watched my previous videos, you already know that I used to make rocket motors with black powder. I don't have the ingredients for other types of fuel, and I don't want to use sugar-based fuel. After uploading a video of my third failed attempt, someone saw my work and commented, the black powder you're using is too fast because of the sulfur. Try using a sulfurless black powder. I said, okay, let's do it. But first, I wanted to understand the role of sulfur. I asked ChatGPT for some information, and it explained that sulfur lowers the ignition temperature, acts as a binder, and increases the burn rate. That means removing sulfur will slow the burn rate. It might work, so I made a batch of sulfurless black powder and used it to prepare a six centimeter long single grain rocket motor. The sulfurless fuel was explosive, or maybe the nozzle was too tight, but I need to find another way to make rocket fuel. While searching for new ideas, I somehow ended up playing War Thunder because I wasn't getting any inspiration. But while flying a jet in the game, I remembered that adding more oxygen increases speed, just like in sugar-based fuels, where potassium nitrate supplies extra oxygen to the sugar. Also, charcoal releases energy when it comes into contact with oxygen. Well, I'm guessing that if I add oxygen to this stuff, it might burn really fast. Long ago, before electricity lit the night, people sought ways to chase away darkness. The ancient Egyptians used torches soaked in fat, but it was the Romans who crafted the first wicked candles from tallow. In China, beeswax was used, burning cleaner and longer. Through the Middle Ages, candles lit churches and castles their warm glow guiding prayers and feasts. Then came paraffin in the 19th century, revolutionizing candle making. Now it's 2025, and people like me trying to make rocket fuel with it. I did some research and found that wax is used in hybrid rocket motors, but I haven't seen any solid fuel wax motors on the internet. To find out why, I decided to build one myself. It might work really well, because potassium nitrate will add a lot of oxygen to the wax, which should increase the burn rate. This wax propellant is very slow, just like a candle. Or maybe I did something wrong while preparing the fuel. I think the wax has to melt first before it reacts with the potassium nitrate. This process is what makes the propellant burn so slowly. I think the wax will perform well if I make it carefully. Let's leave it for a future project. But I have one more idea in mind, which was suggested by the same person who recommended using sulfurless black powder. The idea I'm talking about is called an end-burning rocket. An end-burning rocket motor is a type of motor that produces low thrust and has a long burn time. This type of motor is mostly used in rockets that don't need to go very fast or reach high altitudes. Its low thrust and long burn time make it perfect for small rocket kits. Some early artillery and anti-aircraft barrage rockets used single base propellants based on nitrocellulose, often in end-burning configurations. Manufacturing end-burning grains is very easy. Just tightly pack the propellant inside the motor, attach the nozzle, and it's ready to fire. No core is needed. Ah, it should also work in my case, since I'm going to use black powder for this test. 
as you already know, black powder has a high burn rate, so it might actually produce some usable thrust here. Those three tests ended in failure. I was hoping I could somehow craft a black powder motor, but now I think using black powder as a propellant is too difficult for me. As for wax fuel, I need to research more before I can actually use it as a propellant. I just don't have enough knowledge to make rocket fuel from random stuff like candles right now. If any of you have experience with rocket motors, I'd really appreciate suggestions for alternative propellants. Just please don't suggest sugar fuel.